Well, hello everybody. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is Hebrews 10, 24, and it says this. Let us think of ways to motivate one another uh, to acts of love and good works. As a Christian, the author of Hebrews is letting us know we can absolutely and should motivate each other to do good works and acts of love in this world. Uh, not to be mistaken with shaming someone or guilting someone or trying to control others into doing those good works, but motivate one another. I think about this a lot with my own son. Parenting, te parenting techniques aside, I want to encourage him to do good things in this life and even be a good person. I'd like to raise him to be good, kind, loving, honest, patient, etc. The list goes on of good things I'd like him to do. And so I think of all the techniques one can use in parenting to get him to do those. I could bribe him. Hey, I'll give you 10 bucks every time you do something good. And that might be good for motivation for a little bit, but truthfully, that's setting him up to care more about the physical and worldly prize than actually doing good in this world. I could guilt him and shame him. How dare you do those bad things? Do you know how that makes me look to the, to the world? Or why are you so bad all the time? You should be ashamed of yourself. Or just do good like the other kids so we look better than we actually are. And you know, causing people to be bitter towards you or themselves is not healthy motivation either. So there are many motivations out there to do good works, good, bad, or ugly. The one and only motivation that matters most and that will make a real impact on someone's life is sharing the truth, love, and grace of Jesus Christ with them. And as I try to motivate my son to acts of love and good works, I remember that it all has to start with a foundation of Jesus, first in myself and then modeled to him, first preached to myself and then shared with him first practiced in myself, and then taught to him. Remembering that the foundation of good work starts with Jesus actually takes the emphasis out of every unhealthy motivation tactic that we may have. And it also frees you up to be truly creative out of love, truth, and grace in how we spur one another on towards good works. See, it's no longer about making you look good or hitting some weird quota to get people to do good. It's all now rests in Christ and the work of the Spirit in both of your lives. Your motivation for motivating others changes and transforms to pure intentions. So my prayer for my son, as well as others I'm trying to motivate into doing good works, is that they know Jesus to the fullest in that moment. And through knowing Jesus to the fullest, he would be their motivation for present and future good works. I know there are people in your lives who you want to motivate to do good works. I hope you are encouraged to share Christ's truth and love with them to accomplish that because shame, guilt, bribery, control doesn't work. Christ's love, truth, and grace does. So how can you share Jesus with the people in order to, with people in order to encourage them to do good works and acts of love? Be humble, get creative, allow the Spirit to lead you to do good works, and then model those for those around you. Share with the people the gospel message. Teach them how God saved them from sin to be in relationship with him and to have that freedom to do actual good works in the world without strings attached. But seriously, guys, get creative. I do think God has placed people in your path so you can share Jesus with them and in so doing, motivating them to acts of love and good works. So Calvary, have a great day. And remember, Christ's love, grace, and truth is real. And the more we learn about it, the better we live in it, the better motivation we will be for those around us. Have a great day.